hi everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl hk uh, so you guys showed so 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 much love on my previous transformation tuesday video the first one this year and i love you so much for that i know i had a lot of plans for last week but it kind of got cancelled last minute so we have this new week to try again that's the beauty of being alive so for today's video i'm gonna show you guys how i came up with this uh, mono strap one strap one sided top that i'm really really in love with right now this is my first ankara top Ever. like I always see people online wearing Ankara and I really really admire but I just never got around to create one myself um, I know you guys are gonna ask about this material this was a gift to my mom from my dad when he travels so um, I don't know where you can find the same exact print but I do know someone who has some beautiful beautiful Ankara prints that you can buy from her, her Instagram account is less up by guys and I'm also gonna leave a link in the description for you guys if you're interested in checking them out or, or just purchasing a nice Ankara so that you could make yourself a nice top so yeah without further ado without wasting so much time let's get into this creative process hi guys so here is the print laid down look at how beautiful this is um, so the top of it is this way and then we get into the black and white and then we get to the bottom of the ankara so i want this to be the bottom of the top dress and i want this to be the top of the top dress um what you're gonna need is a basic bodice these ones i'm gonna leave a link in the description for you guys to um draw it out if you need to um or else you just have to draft your measurement on the material this is a way of saving like your time and then what we're gonna need is this curve over here this is the only thing that we're gonna need and then the rest of it we're going to make it as flare as possible and then uh, over here we just need this arm length over here and then we need to make it like a one shoulder top like i made this um top this one i wore at sabrina's wedding i'm gonna leave a, like a small clip for you guys to see so i'm going to draft this curve over here all the way to here and then we're gonna make it straight because i didn't like the way it was droopy the other day so we're gonna make it straight so yeah your scissors your tailor's chalk your tape measure and your entertainment so let's get right into cutting this material the, from here to here is like my hip length um, so I did take measurements from here to here. This is my hip curve and then I left a little bit of uh, space down here so that you know um, So that I don't mess it up. So I'm I did leave a little bit of room and Yeah, that's what we have working with right now yeah, I cannot chase you chase you i cannot fly i cannot make you you make up your mind you want me to prove it to you to see what i lose if i cannot find you up in the dust if i stand here waiting what you think i must stay here for days
so here is the top you see we have like a monochrome i don't know that if that's the name that they call it like one sleeve kind of a top um but there's going to be like another sleeve but half of it um here is the sleeve pattern and then here is the um like a arm thingy the one that is going to stay somewhere up katikati the one that is going to hold the sleeve together over here because the sleeve is gonna be like super super baggy i don't even know how i'm gonna explain it but yeah i'm gonna leave the measurements to these down in the description as well if you're interested this is the sleeve pattern i just after this point i went all the way straight to the bottom um so that's what i did so that to make the bottom of the sleeve a little bit loose and then i showed you guys how i went about the top so this is what we have so far i'm gonna piece all the big pieces together and then i will show you guys the progress but so far so good Chase you, I cannot fly, I cannot make you make up your mind. You want me to prove it to you to see what I lose, to see what I lose. If I cannot find you up in the dust, if I stand here waiting, would you think I might stay it for days? I'm losing my way. There's really no point in waiting for okay so i pieced together all the big pieces and this is what i have so far uh i was right i wish i took in more material so that it's like more fluffier but i was trying to save the other piece for something else but this is actually not so bad when i add like a belt over here it's gonna look super super cute and here are the sleeves i like what i did here i joined two materials to create this pattern um i wanted my sleeves to be baggier but i i messed up when i was cutting i didn't follow any tutorial i just did whatever is in my head and i messed it up i actually didn't mess up the sleeve i just it didn't come the way i wanted so i don't know if i should add a material over here to make it a bit bigger so that it looks the way i want um this is the other sleeve i didn't want to cut it out i wanted to try it on before i cut it so this is gonna go in like that and then we have like one shoulder out and then this shoulder in but yeah this is what we have so far so good this is the back of it so i'm gonna finish it up i have i'm also gonna have like extra material going on over here so i have to figure out i have to figure out how i'm gonna do the finishing right here and uh, the finishing is gonna go around my sleeve as well and then i have to figure out the sleeves if i'm gonna add anything i'm just gonna leave it like that and then we're just gonna be and then we're gonna be done but so far so good i cannot wait to finish up this top and show you guys how it comes out so make sure you stick around bye and voila here is the final product i really really loved the way this top came out i really love the length of it it is just the perfect length i don't know about the fluffiness i i just feel like i would have made it a little bit fluffy because i still have a lot of material remaining i also uh, wanted the sleeves to be fluffier than this uh, i i think 
later this week i'm gonna change the sleeve to be fluffier so that you know it gives it that exaggerated look but this actually came out super super nice my intention wasn't to add an elastic here but then it turned out to be quite loose and this was a good way of uh, reducing that bulkiness that was going on over here and i actually loved the way it turned out but yeah i also loved the sleeves i joined two material to create this pattern over here and it just complements it itself so 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 much thank you guys so much for watching if you watched it till the end make sure you uh like comment share this video with at least one person please just one person and i'm gonna see you guys in the next transformation tuesday video huh? or thursday if i have a food video or a saturday for a lifestyle video thank you guys so much i'm gonna see you guys in the next one Kwaheri.